So I think it's really important to do work up front. So we need to understand what the patient preferences are. If they don't want to have weight gain and they gain weight with the treatment, they're not going to adhere to the treatment. So we need to understand what they don't want to experience. And when we know that, we can offer them usually two medications, give them the pros and cons of those, and then they can make a decision between those. As part of that, we will also talk about how the doses will be adjusted, what our targets will be, and the monitoring that we're going to be doing. And also that they understand our availability should they experience problems. It's better to nip this in the bud early on rather than having them be non-adherent and come back a month later and be very symptomatic. So there are really two main ways to manage sexual dysfunction associated with antidepressant therapy. One is to switch to a medication that is less likely to cause sexual dysfunction. And a corollary of that is that maybe from the beginning when you prescribe, if they don't want to experience sexual dysfunction, you start with a medication that's less likely to do that. The other possible intervention is that you add an antidote to the, the antidepressant that's causing the sexual dysfunction. So adding something like bupropion or buspirone can counteract sexual side effects from antidepressants.